Welcome back, everybody, to another episode here at Le Monde Crochet. I just have the camera rolling. We're going to see what's going to happen. I have an idea of kind of like what we want to talk about here. We are at Miss Pearl. And if I did this correctly, there should be some footage playing of grand opening day and the other time I came here and visited. This is the newest yarn shop, and I think it's the first here in the south side of Chicago, uh, which carries hand-dyed, hand-painted yarns luxury yarns and we gotta support we gotta support so snap snaps from miss pearl you guys know that's what we do here in case you want to look her up it is miss pearl i will be putting her information in the description box below come check her out i don't know if she ships i'll ask her right now she'll confirm and here a guest a fellow youtuber her name is well her youtube name is at Balanced skein. I'll put like the words here. <laughs> um, do you want to introduce yourself real quick? Sure. Um, my name is Kendra. Balanced skein on Instagram, Ravelry, and YouTube. I have been crocheting since I was a kid. I can't even remember how long. And I just started knitting a few months ago. So I'm fully entrenched in the fiber world. Discovering all the fun Instagram people, YouTube people, and just trying to make the best of it. It was at the Pearl Talk. So Miss Pearl is actually hosting these informative sessions here in her store. And I met her, Kendra here, and when I discovered that she had a YouTube channel, I was like, because oh. <laughs> normally other YouTubers in the fiber community are like in Wisconsin or like really, really far away. So I'm like, oh wow, like Bagua de Crochet is only like an hour and a half away from She's royalty. <laughs> She's crochet royalty on YouTube, yes. She's the first one. No, no, no. Nastasia is the first fiber community, fiber channel to reach a million, uh, oh, yeah. a million subscribers, and oh, Bagua de Crochet is at 600k, so she's almost there. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, gotta, you, gotta know, you gotta know these names. You gotta know these names. I'm new to this place, so I have lots to learn. I saw her here at the Pearl Talk, and then I realized she was a social media person, As, to her capacity. <laughs> And no, it's all about encouragement. It's all about, I'm a people pusher. So now that I know her, I'm gonna be like, let's get that video, let's get that post, let's get that post. Uh, real quick, before I forget, you are doing a knit along, correct? A make along, it's called the Maze, or no, Safe for Work Make Along. I'll put the picture here somewhere. Yeah, so basically you're just making a dough size garment that you would wear to work. Um, and it's, it's running for six months. And there will be prizes. Because God only knows I'll wear neon yarns to work. <laughs> so, no, 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 but it is a fair, it's a fair perspective what you're, what you're bringing to the table. Because you don't want to be distracting at work and you also don't want to be labeled a distraction yeah, at work. Like, I wanted to make it open to interpretation. So some people work in, say, they run a yarn store, they can wear whatever. And some people work in a corporate environment and have to make something that doesn't stand I'm trying, yes. Okay. I no, I I, I do no 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 I do want to because it's always good to be balanced. Balance game. <laughs> I feel better in pain at the thought of making something that is not that like you have to learn a little bit of everything and you do have to it'll only help me and it will only increase my skill set. Yeah. So I would be wasting an opportunity to learn something new. So I'm committing now. I will. Because I have to. I do. I really do need to learn how to like tone it down. <laughs> to be fair, uh, work safe garments sell better <laughs> than my wacky creep. I really want to. We're like cats. I've been saying on this channel that I've been writing a pattern for eight months and counting. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been practicing, and then when I read it back, or I have like my girlfriend read it, I'm like, no, 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 never mind, don't read it. It's, oh, it's not disgusting or anything like that. Like, it's just, I'm an artist, and I'm sensitive. Uh, yeah, I also I feel like I don't. Again, the skill set of being the consumable to a wider audience because it's not really about me it's about sharing and translating what I do for someone else to do it so there is a language that I have to learn how to do it in that sense because 
as much as I want it to be my style, I'm failing the person who's like trying to like purchase a pattern, especially if they're buying the pattern, you know, like they have to be able to recreate what it is. That to your point about how the simpler, more understated patterns sell the most because like, people have that room to put their own spin on it. Yeah. Right. So it's right. Like, Right, all have to learn. I'm pretty sure Wes Nitz as well has toned it down <laughs> once or twice in his life. Oh, yeah, um, that new shawl that he released? Shawlography? Yes, mm -hmm. that spoke to me. He has me like this much wanting to start learning how to knit just because I want to like get in on it. But if I'm already addicted, to buying yarn for crochet. Oh yeah. I don't want to enable. <laughs> oh yeah, when I learned to knit, it opened the floodgates. Yeah. Like this? Luxury pop for that? Mm-hmm. Michael's who? No. Give me all of the, the hand dye local stuff. It's bad. It's, bad. it's gonna be 10 times worse if you want to knit. Exactly, but to knitting's credit, it is on my, for sure, for sure, for sure, I already decided it will be my 2022 New Year's resolution to start. Like to learn the basics. Tunisian might be my first because I'm highly interested in Tunisian and Anshalot. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh -huh. To knitting's credit, the garments are lighter. Yarn plays out. Yeah, you don't use as much yarn as in crochet. And I I personally believe that colors play out better in than in crochet. There are some hand dyers who it translates well, crochet and knit, but by far, I'm very jealous that knitters get that clean, variegated. It's more knots. It's knots? It is. It's pure knots. It's, more like it's like bees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's. I'm kind of excited, but yeah. scared. It's bittersweet, but I, I yeah, I told myself I'm like, all right, for sure, New Year's resolution, I'll dabble in it. When I met you, I was like, okay, so he's full on crochet. Yeah, there's no way he's gonna do it. But, but Westnitz, I'm telling you, Westnitz, I was so jealous when he released his last shawl last year. That one was really, really for cool. The mystery needle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Julie, who was here, I'll put some video. She was the speaker at the Pearl Talk. I yelled at her because she should have worn it. She had, she made one. She made one, and it was like in this moss green, beige, brown color palette. That's what I like about his patterns. Like, he makes some in fun, bold colors that I would never make them in, but there's like so much different ways you can interpret it and make it like a neutral palette. What's up, Mama Pearl? No, 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 no. Come say hi, Mama Pearl. Come say hi, Mama Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> We're being informal, ah! formal, whatever you guys need. That is uh, Miss Pearl's, um, in Spanish we call them jefas. She is her jefa. <laughs> it means like boss, but for mom <laughs> in Spanish. She's, I, I adopted her. She's definitely one of my uh, crochet mamas. Because she is team crochet. Do not, don't go to the dark side. No knitting. No knitting. Until next year. <laughs> Until next year. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me <laughs> let me dabble in first and then tell you not to do it. <laughs> um. So what are you working on right now? I am making a. What is this called? Are you wearing one of your creations? Sorry to interrupt. You made that. <laughs> she doesn't. She's not even telling anyone. She's just like wearing it. Just like. Oh no, yeah. I don't like to draw attention to that. People know that. <laughs> <laughs> secret little prop by Jesse May. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's a DK weight pattern. So. Ooh, DK weight. Yeah. This is. That is DK. This is yeah. This is the first time outside of socks that I knit a garment or anything like that. Or stitch. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And this is affordable yarn. This is the um. Burnett softy cotton. So it's like half cotton, half. Oh color. no way! I really like it. But um, I don't think I've washed it yet, but apparently it washes well As long as you don't put it on high heat in the dryer. Oh, uh, my girlfriend washed my hand dyed yarn sweater in high heat and it felted. I mean, it, it, it didn't felt that too much, but. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly the face I made when she gave it back to me, and I was like. But do you know what? Crochet fabric is less susceptible to felting than knit fabric. So I think because of like the knots yeah. and the stitches, like it kind of like retains the, the mm -hmm. plywood. 
to yeah. use Julie's terms, it retains the ply of the yarn. I <laughs> wanted to show you how I finish one of my paints. So this is, right now it's a giant rectangle, but it's going to look like one of these. Is it like a shawl, like all the best parts of a shawl? Yeah, it's like, it's a cane oh, hybrid. So cool. Yeah, you can wear it asymmetrically. You can wear it hands free with the short part here, so you don't like when you're cooking or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so nice on the camera too. Yeah, and then the pointy part, which everyone tends to like. Yeah. Let me show you how okay. I do the finishing touches on this. This is kind of like a shawl that's a red table that you just put the edges. Exactly. Look okay. at that. She figured it out. Look at that. That's Look at why that. I like it. Because I'm like I don't want to fuss with it. I like, yeah. I like stuff like that, but I'm like, I don't want to adjust it. It's too many movements. Yeah. Right. So. And then also when you're creating it, in your mind, you're just literally thinking, let me make a giant rectangle. And you can do any stitch that you and want. And then you sit, yep. So I could do it, um, a shell stitch. Exactly. I'll link it in the description. My favorite way to close my paints or any garments because you get a nice crisscross going over the, the seam. And it's a little finicky at first when you're trying to learn it, but once you get it... Is that like the hidden um, stitch no, seam? No, 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 no. This one is obnoxious. This one will like... So it's meant to be seen? If you want. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right. So if you do wear it backwards, which does tend to happen sometimes, it won't look like you're wearing it backwards. It'll look like part of your... So for this one specifically, I did want the neckline to be open okay. um, because I wanted it, I wear a chain and so I always like to, you use, yeah, you gotta show off your bling. Some ladies like to show off their neck and collarbone, like a nice silver one. This one's from Mexico. Uh -huh. and when you are going to close it, I recommend doing one more row on the side that isn't mm -hmm. the unfinished side. Unfinished, yeah. side, correct, yeah. because it'll just give you a nice clean yeah. look, oh, and you'll be able to hide any of those loose yarns yeah. in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I have double crochet; it doesn't have to be too complicated. I'm gonna write Miss Pearl off as a tax. Right. <laughs> as a tax right now. <laughs> Do you make a Christmas gifts for your family ever? Um, Are you mostly a selfish person? Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of people. I've tried making stuff for people and they just don't. They, yeah, they don't know. Well, first of all, they don't know how to take care of it. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, it's a baby twinkle. Yeah, it's a striping. I like that color. Stress in this step is read out what you've done. So, for example, if you know that this is a double crochet skip stitch, that means you're only putting two half double crochets in there. Because it's very easy for you to see an open hole and be like, oh, a stitch goes in there. No, 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 you really have to read out what it is. If it's a row of half double crochet, it's one stitch. If it's a row of double crochet, then you know that there's going to be two stitches. I used to be a yarn cutter all the time, and she kind of like pulled my ears up with like, stop cutting your yarn. Because then you can frog it. You can frog it and like reuse it without ever having to worry about knotting it back together. I'll be linking the video of how I seam my garments together. But long story short, you are doing left loop, right loop, left loop, right loop, going from the outside of your stitch to the inside. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Seamless on one side, and then if you accidentally wear your garment backwards, it looks like it's part of, it looks like a cable, like a little nice little cable that's hidden in there. Mm -hmm. So it's a tape measure. It's a stitch counter, and it has a needle gauge. I took the scissors out, but also a little bit of storage for some markers. If you want those, you can have those, but I don't need those. And then it has... Wait. It's a cut yarn. I have never in my life heard of this. Yeah, my girlfriend got it for me for Christmas. There is a gadget for literally everything. 
for the stuff one more. I'll let you do that one. There we go. <laughs> And voila, we have a finished. Oh wait, well, I mean, you gotta hide your yarn. I never. I don't do that. Look at that. Oh, so from a giant rectangle and closing it along the edge of one side of it, you get this abstract stripe color play on all of that. I like that. I like that. And you can wear it one way with the point going this way. Actually, I meant to put this side here, but I'm actually happy I didn't do that because it's more busy up here. Yeah, 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 like your eyes don't know where to go. You can wear it with the point going front. You can wear it along one side like that, you know, that little bougie moment like that. <laughs> or if you're hands-free, because I, I cook all the time, and then you shouldn't be cooking around grease and yarn. But this is the hands-free side where you're like thinking your hands are here and you're not like messing yourself up or anything like that. And then you get a nice little cake on the back and people are looking at you. Ah, that is my contribution for you, Kendra. Hopefully you took notes. Yes. That's, and, it's really easy and I'm assuming you could do the same with knit, just knit a giant rectangle and then you seam it together like that. We're going to end the video here. I'll add some extra video footage of me mingling around with the people here here in the store. But thank you so much, Kendra, for being the Bears! Woo! The Bears! So let's go ahead and give a cheers to all of our subscribers. Go check out our channel. I'll be linking it in the video, in the description, and the title. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!